Gato Silver, G-A-T-O <laughs> stock. <clears throat> this thing just bombed straight off a cliff. Uh, and this is an unfortunate follow-up to my Silver Squeeze video because I was just talking about how silver could be a good asset here shortly while everything else becomes awful. Um, but uh, in terms of silver, physical silver is what I'm talking about. These miners are speculative play for sure. And uh, yeah, this sort of thing is possible. So the big news with this is there was a an error, not an accounting error, an, a worksheet, <laughs> a worksheet error, where apparently 30 to 50 percent of their mining resources they don't actually have. Uh, so that was not great news <laughs> for the stock. Like they don't actually have half their stuff that they claim to have. Um, so this thing just teleported to the downside. Uh, this would have been a tough one to find for a short, like this thing was actually doing a pretty good technical setup uh, for a long, which, oof, okay. Um, but I did want to point out, there's a couple other miners that are kind of tracking silver with leverage, basically. It's a very similar chart to silver, uh, but you know, it went five to 25 when silver went from 12 to 25 or something. So it's a lot bigger moves in the silver miners than you get with just silver. Um, uh, Mag is another one that's holding up a little bit better than AG so far. And then uh, Discovery Silver Corp is one that's uh, bigger momentum kind of penny stock that uh, it's like a discovery one, but it's holding up even better with higher momentum. So those are kind of interesting uh, for the silver play, but I wanted to follow up a little bit. Oh yeah, please uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah, hit the like button. I forgot that thing. Uh, gold, well, gold, everyone's talking about the gold breakout and everything. Like gold has been bulling while the rest of the market is crashing, but it did not break out. Gold is still stuck in this downtrend. Um, at least for now, it hasn't broken out. But I mean, you can see this wedge runs out till maybe June or something. Like that's enough time for us to get into the end of the taper where we might actually have a real crash. I mean, gold is capable of selling off during an actual crash, but it should be, it should be good until then. Now we'll see what gold does, but uh, yeah, anyway, for now it hasn't broken out yet and gold is important, relatively important for silver. Here's the spot silver chart. Uh, you can see silver's been on a bull run for several years here and it looked like it might break down, but it's holding. It's holding the channel, it's holding this bull, you know, this bubble trend line here. So silver actually looks really good and I think, well, a couple of things. Like one, physical silver is physical silver. So you actually have it. Like it can't just like disappear on the internet if there's a banking collapse or something. Um, but also, yeah, I mean, it, it's manipulated down so much that the spot silver price should probably be over a hundred or something now. And it's being manipulated down. But like say if silver were to crash, in a crash, which it usually does, uh, there's, I mean, it, where is it crashing from? The current price? Or like, is it like fake crashing down from 100 somewhere? Like it could go up to where it's supposed to crash down to. Like there's room to manipulate it less during a crash and it could actually go up. Even though like the supply demand dynamics might be pulling it down, there's, there's tons of room for this to go up Anyway, so silver is a really weird play uh, on the speculative front, but as far as like insurance or something like that, uh, an alternative sort of monetary asset to have, uh, I think it's a very good one because it is in super high demand for electronics and solar, the entire green energy and decarbonization, everything like that. Uh, it's important, it's in low supply and now the main jurisdictions for silver like mexico is getting worse 
and you see like Gato crapping out like that's bad for that stock but that is less silver supply so that I mean that's putting upward pressure on supply and demand like that should be pushing the price up if silver miner jurisdictions are getting bad and supply is going down anyway silver is interesting I just wanted to do a specific video on Gato in case people are looking up like what's going on um, but this that that's not a jurisdiction issue like that is a uh, another company that has Mexican mines and the quality of Mexico as a mining jurisdiction is going down but it shouldn't be an issue in the short term uh, but long term it can be an issue and uh, the silver supply and demand could go way out of whack maybe over the next 10 years or something so yeah just like a long term hold insurance kind of thing I really think silver is a good one because uh, gold prices are already kind of up like they're not way down you know and silver's I mean it's been lower it's not at like the absolute floor or something but I think it has a ton of room to go up and yeah anyway that's just the just not investment advice on silver and uh, yeah got to man I was considering uh, like call options on that thing <laughs> that's uh, uh.